You're a dude bro? You don't look like a dude bro. Even in dude bro clothes, you don't look like a dude bro. Where are we? What are we doing today? I forgot. Early beach. That, yep, yeah, that's where we are. I sound like a smoker today. My voice is so bad. I've been smoking. Have you? <laughs> I'm so tired. I haven't even done anything. I'm so tired. I don't know what's going on. It is a beautiful day. Our booty. Market, market, market. I love markets. I never buy anything, but I enjoy looking at everything. Why? Why? Also, Cyclone Debbie has really done a number on Port Ely Beach. So many shops still closed. And the lagoon's closed. I guess in winter is a good time to repair a lagoon because you won't have as many people, but it looks like it would have been really nice. Get back on the boat, Chris. On the boat. Today is the light party. I'm not in focus. There we go. It's the light party. Chris looks very fancy in his um, op shop jacket that I bought him. Hey, Chris, show me your jacket. Very nice. Oh, sorry. <laughs> you guys look so nice. What's your superhero power and what crime would you commit with it? Superhero power is mind trick and I will cause anarchy. Anarchy. Excellent. Sherilyn, what was yours? I would fly and I would drop bricks on people I don't like. <laughs> I want to teleport, that could be benevolent too, but I want to get inside Area 51 and see what's really going on. Peter, we're going to ask you too about what your superhero power what is and what crime would you commit with it. I don't talk well, I do a bit, that's my superpower. You dance. Exactly. What crime would you commit with your dancing skills? Oh, that was cute! That's not a crime. That's, all right, that's not a crime. <laughs> Truth. Be a crime. Truth. That's on tape. You have to tell them that off the record because Sally is. Yeah. Too evil. <laughs> <laughs> Tiger mom. Actually, the first thing that popped into my head when you asked me, I was saying, yeah, I wish like you know, I my hand can and like super extend and slap before the. Head. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. Across the room there. That's fantastic. And then if you're far enough away, they won't know who did it. Yeah. <laughs> This is the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> oh my god. Reggie doesn't make us elephants. I think you go back in my fire. I hope so. But then I won't be able to use my towel. Look at you. Is it nothing? It's just a wall. Oh, it's like it wants you to have the impression of having a window without really having a window. Yeah, I guess. It's behind the.
literally every time Chris and I leave Brisbane at the same time, it rains. We're heading home today and, and look what we're heading towards. How many kilos of food do you think you've eaten this trip, Chris? I probably ate two kilos of food on the first day. That's a lot. Marginally less on the second day. Are you sad to be going home? I miss my aunt. You're a land lover. Have you got your sea legs now? No. <laughs> I need prosthetics. Oh my god, they made me a dog. I'm so happy. Chris caught Reggie, our little cabin manager friend, and asked him to make me a cat, but I guess cat's not in his repertoire, so he made me a dog. <laughs> so cute. Little friend. And so, our intrepid travelers feel sick after too much food. And this intrepid traveler has felt sick for most of the trip. <laughs> it's true, it's sad, but it's so true. Ah, uh, oh well. Are you home? Oh. Are you cold? Are you cold, Sally? No. Just no. Like nice. Ah, uh, you got your puffer vest. Okay. You're organized. I'm yeah. cold. Let's go back in. Sherilyn's not wearing anything on her legs. She needs to go back in.